Welcome to lesson number 18, msixec.exe comments. The executable that makes the Windows installer work is called msixec. This file is in C Windows System32 and can be used to control or fix the installation or uninstallation of packages in the command line. This is the main executable that you need to use in the command line every time you deal with MSI installation files. So let's have a look at some of the most common commands that people use to do things. The argument for installing a package is slash i. So if you want to install the MSI, you can just type msixec.exe slash i and mypackage.msi or in our case orca.msi. The argument to uninstall a package is slash x. So if you want to uninstall a package, you can do msiexec slash x, the product code of the package, or I can specify the msi itself like msiexec slash x and the path to your msi. If you want to have a look over what files an msi is placing but don't have an editing tool, you can do an administrative install by using the slash a argument, something like this. Uh, for example, msixec slash a, your msi, and the target directory, which is specified as target dir, equals the location you want to extract your msi. As you can see, all of the msi files and directories have been extracted here. One of the best things about msi technology is that it can make log files. Probably the most important thing that you need to keep in mind when you push your installation package into an infrastructure is to keep track of log files. People will have problems and without a log you can't figure out what's going on. You can trust me when I say that. The general argument for creating log files is slash L and you can use it something like this. For example, you can do an MSI exec slash I for your MSI and then slash L and the path to your log. The MSI offers a ton of logging options, but the most popular one is the verbose output. To do a verbose output and log all the information, you must do the following command line. MSI exec slash i your MSI slash l and v and the path to your log. To your log. To apply a transform over an MSI file, you can use the transforms argument something like this. MSI exec slash i your MSI and transforms equal the location of your transform file. To install a patch over an MSI, the slash p argument must be used like this. MSI exec slash p and your MSP. To determine how your MSI will be installed, for example silently, some of the following arguments can be used, such as slash QB, which skips all the dialogues for the user, shows the installation progress and lets the user cancel the installation, slash QB exclamation mark, which performs the same way as slash QB, but the exclamation mark means that no cancel button is available for the user during the installation and slash QN performs a fully silent installation with no user interface displayed. All of the above arguments can be combined at any time. So for example, if I have an MSI, a transform file, and I want to install it silently and do a log file, the following command must be used. So for example, we start with the MSI exec slash I for the MSI itself, the transform file that we want to use, slash L or V and the location to your log file, slash QN. MSI exec also offers a detailed description of the comments. All you have to do is open up a CMD and type MSI exec and hit enter. These comments are also documented on our user guide. Now that we understand how the MSI exec comments work, let's have a look on the next video over the repackaging process.